Welcome at Elector uh, Labs. Today I will show you our Zigtexter network project. It's a long name, a complicated name for a simple uh, system. It's this system. It consists of a transmitter, a small PCB, and slave stations. You can have uh, as many as you like. Slave stations that display all the same message. So this transmitter is a broadcaster that will transmit a message to the other systems. I have a PC application to send uh, the message to the transmitter, like this. I hope you can see it, it's quite small on the camera. Um, then about the system, it is a Zigbee based system. So we have XB modules here, I can show you also on the back of this one. A Zigbee module, and the advantage of using Zigbee is that it's very low power. Uh, it's cheap also, it's certified, worldwide certified. And it is a mesh networking a network that supports broadcasting, which is important for this application. Uh, on the transmitter side, we just have a Zigbee module with an RS-232 interface that communicates with the PC. On the PC we have an application that is used to send the messages. On the slave side, we have a microcontroller, small uh, 80 tiny uh, 2013, and we used a 4x20, uh, 4x40 LCD. You are not uh, obliged to use a display like this, but 4x40 is 160 characters. You can have a lot of um, information on, a, on the screen. This is the PC application that we use to send messages to our broadcasting system. It's a very simple application. You have to select the serial port first, which is COM45 in my case, and then you can start sending messages. The messages are, they have to be typed in the lower window, the white window, where it says type your message here. I think it's clear enough. So I can send a message. Hello, dear or viewer. You can see it's a real editor and it will be displayed the way I type it. Once I have a message, I click send. The message is gone from the white window and you will now see it appear in the green window. This means that the slave displays have received the message and that it is being displayed. Okay, uh, this application is a little bit more complicated than just sending a message. You can also schedule messages. So you can create a list of messages with a date and a time and they will be played back and automatically displayed on your uh, system. That works like this. You click schedule a message, you type a message, my message, you select a date, for instance, next week somewhere, 10 o'clock a.m. save, and you can type another message, schedule a 11 o'clock, same day, for instance, a.m. My second message. Okay, so once you have all your messages scheduled, you simply click start scheduled messages and it will start sending. I didn't schedule anything for today, so you get a message saying that there are no messages for today and it will only start um, the 30th of January with the, what I uh, selected. One more option, you can type a message here or send a message. Uh, I prepared some cut and paste for instance. And you can uh, let it go away after a certain time. So and now it's 12.08 on my PC. Let's set it 12.10. Uh, that's a difficult one. AM or PM. So now this message will disappear in two minutes. And once you're done with the application, you just close it. Yes, I really want to quit. One important thing, one of the slave displays has to be in what we call echo mode. So that will uh, send back the message that it received to the PC so that the PC knows or the user knows that the displays have received the message. 
but only one should be in echo mode. If they are all in echo mode, then the PC will overflow and will not be able to uh, display it correctly. To put it in echo mode, there is a jumper here. You can switch between echo mode or non-echo mode. And when you change the jumper, you have to reboot the client to uh, make it accepted. You can see the LED blinking, by the way. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but there, this LED is blinking, which means that the Zigbee network is now uh, operational. It's in contact. Why would you need such a system? Well, for instance, uh, it can be useful in a restaurant when you have uh, several tables and you want to show to all your clients what you, they can have for lunch, for instance, the special of the day. You put a display on every table and from the kitchen you type how many uh, specials of the day are left and so people know what is for lunch and they can order it and they can also see if there are, is anything left or not. That's just one application. You can also use it in-house uh, in every uh, room of the house where you can put a display and to uh, tell your children, for instance, that it's uh, time to go to bed or to the shower or to go, come down eating. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, happy uh, zig texting. Goodbye.